And a very good evening to all my viewers. It is Thursday, October 3rd, 2024. It is 8.11 p.m. Eastern Canadian time. And this is a special breaking news video, I guess you could call it, as we have some major news here regarding the blue line of the Montreal Metro system. And I'll explain that in a minute. We're here at the, the Castelnau Metro station here. This is, like I said, is on the blue line of the Montreal Metro system. And uh, within the last hour or so, uh, there was a code 900-010, which was announced for St. Michel Metro Station. So code 900-010, of course, means structural damage. And apparently what happened is, uh, well, they're doing renovations at Jean Talon Metro Station. They discovered that on the footbridge, the beams supporting the footbridge at St. Michel Metro Station over the tracks, the beams have deteriorated. And let's hear the announcement here. So this footbridge that goes over St. Michel Metro Station, the platforms, if you've ever been there, you probably know the one that I'm talking about, goes right over the tracks, the platforms. I guess they're doing renovations there and they discovered the beams holding that footbridge up have deteriorated and they didn't know about it until they did an inspection. And as a result, um, there's no trains. In fact, there's no metro service at all. You can't even go into metro stations. Um, with following three metro stations, St. Michel, Fabre, and the Iberville. Uh, so the STM is supposed to have a press conference tomorrow. Uh, this could take weeks, apparently. Uh, they have to get some inspectors, um, special engineering firms, and uh, they're gonna have to inspect that footbridge. And because of the way um, that the track switches are configured, that's why three metro stations are inaccessible so it's not even going to be no train stopping at St. Michel, Fabre or Iberville there's not going to be any trains going through there at all and I'll show you guys where that is if you're not familiar so uh, this is the St. Michel direction so basically uh, there's St. Michel station right here this is where the footbridge is that apparently has some beams deteriorating and the Iberville and Fabre these three stations here are completely off limits so um, service terminates basically at Jean Talon we're here at the Castelnau so we're gonna go check out Jean Talon metro station and uh, get a peek what's going on there then I may do a live stream after from outside uh, St. Michel metro station Let's see if we can see anything Using, uh, using the Samsung video app built into the phone, the one where I'm having those issues with the uh, white shadow. Um, I didn't have time to set up the other app uh, because I wanted to start documenting this major story. Um, and the reason why there's no trains or no metro service at all at uh, Fabra and the Iberville is because of the configuration of the track switch mechanisms. Um, there's no choice but for service to terminate at Jean Talon Metro Station. Um, there's nothing actually wrong at Fabre or the Iberville. This is all the footbridge at St. Michel Metro Station, but uh, it's causing this cascade of effect. And interestingly enough, um, I put a link to the actual press release by the STM. They're gonna be having a news conference tomorrow morning talking about this further. 
And they mentioned that this is indirectly related to underfunding infrastructure issues, uh, you know, going on here in the public transit system. So just imagine as well, another thing worth noting as we wait for our MR73 train to arrive here, just imagine uh, the fact that this was discovered by accident. This was discovered during renovations going on. And imagine what else is happening that we don't know about. You know, these very tunnel ceilings, walls. I mean, uh, kind of, kind of nervous to think about, you know. But uh, you know, this is what it is. So, wait for our train to arrive, and we'll see what's happening at Jean Talon Metro Station. And uh, like I said, this could be going on for weeks. Probably will be going on for weeks. Who knows? Just how long. Uh, now there are shuttle buses that are in place. They have put some shuttle buses in place to deal with this temporary issue. Now, last time there was an issue like this, you gotta go back, I think a year or two ago, I can't remember exactly where it was. But this has happened before in the Montreal Metro system. There's our MR73 approaching. Now, I'm battling a bit of a cold here, but I decided to come out anyway to, uh, to document this. So this is where Metro service is going to terminate for up to weeks. So basically what's going to happen is this train here is going to go into the tunnel, it's going to be switching back around. So I'm going to wrap it up here and uh, see what we can see at St. Michel Metro Station.